I'll tell you where we first met. Where did we first meet? At a GQ party. Facts. Oh, actually, tell that story. Right. You said to me... You smell like weed. And I said, I am weed. And then, you vanished. Hi, I'm Megan Fox. Hi, I'm Colson Baker. Is that your real name? Sometimes. And this is... The GQ, GQ Couple, Couple Quiz. Quiz. Okay. How many tattoos do I have? Uh, Name them out while you, it's best to go by. Your it. ankle, back of your neck, mm -hmm. the Nietzsche, you have it back, mm -hmm. you got ours, you got my nickname, and then the one I just gave you. And then the one right below the one I gave you, which is the yin yang. Yeah, that no. one doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. No, that one doesn't yeah, count. No, no, my no, no, other no. rib cage is also tattooed. Uh, that's what I said. You only said Nietzsche in my back. Uh, we'll count the other rib cage too. That's nine, right? The bonus, if you want to redeem yourself, is what does my back tattoo say? The one on my Butterflies shoulder. have gilded hands. Close. You're the, in the vicinity. That's not correct, but do you know what it's from? My back. Oscar Wilde. No. Shakespeare. Ah. Go for the butterflies. Go for it. I know you I, can I, do it. Butterflies. No. There's a butterfly in there, but that's not how it starts. We. We. Will all. Laugh at the butterflies with gilded wings. Mm, so close. God we will all laugh it. at gilded butterflies. It's from King Lear written by Shakespeare. Okay. Dude, what does the Nietzsche meant? quote on my ribs say? We aren't doing AP literature class right now. <laughs> that is for sure not happening. Okay. You get, because you were close on the number, I'll give you one half of a point for that, but that was rough. What's something on my bucket list? Be abducted by a UFO. I'll give you two points for that. Two points. Um, what was my first acting role? Oh, Mary Kate and Ashley. I think. Oh, and, and oh, the, the soap opera that you won't let me watch. If I swear to God, if you play clips from that. Play clips! Correct. I'll give you a point for that. Okay, what is my biggest pet peeve? When I eat and I'm talking to you in your ear. I don't think it has to be related to you specifically, like uh, just what's my biggest yeah, pet peeve. Yeah, but that, but the, that, that, that peeve, the sound of chewing. Yeah, though. yeah, there's a name for that. I mm -hmm. have that. What was my favorite movie as a kid? It's really hard to decipher when like we still watch kid movies all the time. Hook, you stand by. Okay, I'll give you a point yeah. for that. What's my favorite movie now? And if you don't know this, I'm gonna be very upset at you. What's my favorite movie now? I can't wait for it to get cold, and I'm gonna make. Yeah, popcorn oh no, 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 no! You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to go there. It's like an eight series piece. We're talking yeah, about Harry Mother Potter. Yes. Don't think that but I'm not tapped in. Which one is my favorite? Obviously, Prisoners of Azkaban. Prisoner of Prisoner Azkaban. Prisoner of Azkaban. Yes, yes, that was the best book too. Okay. Agreed. I'll give you three points for that. Okay. What film am I most proud of? Easy. Jennifer's body. Yeah. Eating boys left and right. Where is my favorite place to visit? I mean, any place that was around for thousands of years, any place that has history. history. Your answer is nebulous, but I will count it as mostly correct. A straight up answer would be the forest, a tree. Okay, fine, the forest. Period. Yeah, okay. or any, anywhere without people or buildings or electricity. Yeah. Where did we first meet and what or when was our first date? Well, what was our first date? Our first date was epic. Our first date, I picked you up in That was our first, like, out of the house Cadillac. date, but... And I had roses. Thousands of roses. Thousands of roses, bedded on a, on a hill, looking over Topanga Canyon. Mm -hmm. And we ate sushi. sushi. We shared a kiss. I and our, our, our first date, our first date, we breathed each other. That was all we did. Mm -hmm. And then our second date. What did I want to be when I was a kid? Oh, you wanted to be an actor since you were two. Correct. I'm not keeping track of your points, but you're doing good. <laughs> what is my hidden talent? No, Buddha, <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Only PG rated answers. Okay. God, well, one, your, I, your IQ is if you were my Jeopardy partner, you could would honestly win every single category. I've never you you are an almanac and encyclopedia and dictionary all in one. Okay, so my hidden talent is that I'm not stupid. I appreciate you. That's five points. I love you. I mean, if he doesn't, there's no way he doesn't know this. What is my astrological sign? Yeah, I mean, 
I don't even know the answer to this question. How old was I when I started modeling? Let's both guess. On the count of three. One, two, three, Eleven. twelve. Okay. okay, let's find out. What's my favorite way to decompress after a long day? <laughs> do you want to tell them what the doctor said? We cannot say that on camera. How do you even know what it because is? Because she- Okay, look, what the doctor said was- You are insane. Okay. We cannot say that on camera. You cannot say that on camera. That's your favorite way for me to decompress after a stressful day. What's my favorite way to decompress after a stressful day? That would be tea and a foot massage and reading a book and watching a show together. Probably crying a few tears. Definitely crying okay. for sure. Like she loves a good cry. Yeah, he goes, that's all of those things were correct. That's like an eight point, eight point question. Who is my best friend? Me. Beyond you. What, oh, who? Mindy. Okay. Ouch. Well, well, you're not allowed to say you. you oh, are you not? No. Uh, clearly, you're her best friend. Obviously, like, you're the best okay, friend. Okay, because I'm just going off of friends? nights of you just looking at me repeatedly saying you're my best friend. It's it, mm -hmm. it it's obviously hard to. But you know. I know. What was my character's name in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? If you don't know that, I can't. I can't help you in life if you don't know that. Who was I in Teenage Mutant Ninja I Turtles? Got it. She wears a yellow jacket. I got jacket. it. Yeah, it's my favorite picture of you. It's the one where you have the ankle weights on. And Can we not? Because then yeah, we're gonna no, show I a want stupid them to. picture. And she's outside working out, and she's she's like, <laughs> and she's just working out, and I like I die. She has like low top dunks on Maybe or dunks, something. Yeah. It's the cutest picture I've ever seen in my life, and I I, I send her it often. And she hates me for it. Buddha, you get zero. April O'Neil. April. Oh. Okay, you definitely know this one. I had a role on the show New Girl. What was my character's name? Reagan. Facts. You killed that role, by the way. Great job. I love you on that show. You're so good. Buddha, that was very good. You did very well. This is how many you got right. It's a lot. Your turn. Okay, my love. What's my actual name? Colson Baker. What are my nicknames? MGK, Machine Gun Kelly. What are, you, what are your nicknames for me? Oh, is that what that means? Buddha, Lammy, you haven't gotten that one in a long while, but you gotta earn that one back. Cookie, Blonde Angel Baby. Am I missing any? You have Endless, there's so many. Those are the main ones. Those are the most used. Okay, yeah, great, that was good. You wanna have a middle name, Colson? Mm -hmm. Can I guess what your middle name will be? Yeah, guess what my middle name will be when I leave Blade. That's what I want. Sword. Katana. No, Blade. Blade is Chaos. Good. Blade is what? Hectic. I, violence. Yeah, I like Blade. Neville. Bla Neville? Like Longbottom? No, bottom? like Re No, but do you remember what house he was in? Yeah, Gryffindor. Was he? What's my shoe size? Okay, so you used to think it was a 13 and then you thought it was a 12, but we've settled on an 11, but I actually think that's impossible because you are 20 feet tall. Let's show the people your feet. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. His shoes weigh 15 pounds. All right, we don't know my shoe size. Yeah, how many tattoos do I have? It's literally impossible don't, to calculate. Well, you know what? No, it was impossible to calculate tattooed, a Shakespeare quote. You, you've tattooed on top of your tattoos, on top of your tattoos. So how I many tattoos say, have I gotten since I've known you? What's my favorite tattoo? The one I did on you. I tattooed you. The one on your hip with my initials, mm -hmm. and then the other one. Probably that one, right? Yeah, that okay. one hurts my heart. How do I like my coffee? Mostly black and bitter, but I've convinced you to take it with oat milk and a little bit of sugar to sweeten you up in the morning. You say that every time you offer me sugar. You go, don't you just want a little bit of sugar to sweeten you up? Yeah, it's like Ayurvedic. You need a little bit of a sweet flavor in your body instead of yes. putting the bitter in. You're already there. We don't need any more of that. <laughs> What's my favorite comic series or comic book? What's my favorite comic book character? Of all time? You know this. Lucifer? 100%. Yeah. Followed by Sandman. Because What's my favorite comic series? You are him. Ice Cream Man. I love that one. It's called. I love that one. What was my first ever job? I don't know how we want to characterize your first job. Weren't you like well, selling your own CDs and stuff? That makes it sound like I was stuff? a prostitute or no, something no, no. like that. No, no, so, no. But you were like selling your own CDs and stuff when you were like 13. Robert. What was my first like the, job the that, had, that I had to have a W for? No. Is there something before that? Mm -hmm. I worked at a grocery store. Oh, you did tell me that, but I didn't know in the timeline if that fell mm -hmm. before or after the airbrushing. I was 14, I worked at Dave's supermarket. Oh, God. 
What's our favorite show to watch together? No, no you're gonna butcher don't preface this answer. It. Don't. It's what don't you think? Preface it. Oh, it's what I know. <laughs> it's what you oh, think. Oh, it's what I it know. It is what you think. Okay, I'll just name a few of them. Okay. Big Little Lies. Cap. The second show is Nine Perfect Strangers. Uber cap. You can't wait to see how that unfolds. Major and then you also cap. loved the, th the loved thread line is Nicole Kidman because you also loved The Undoing and that show was fire and I dare you to tell me that it wasn't. <sighs> you could not wait to watch that show. You could not wait. You could not wait. But he always comes home acting like he doesn't want to see it, like I make him watch it. But if I'm like, okay, f let's not watch it. Let's do something else. Then he like finds ways to circle back and make sure that I end up putting it on because he can't stand to not Someone know what's happening. Someone give me their hat. Someone give me their hat so I can show this cat. I can't believe that you don't recognize I'm only being a supportive TV, TV. and knowing that you like watching the shows. And I'm like, let's yeah. watch what you like. So what is the right answer? Like, you watch South Park and stuff like that, but that's not that's not what you want to watch when you come home after work with me. Let's be real, be honest. And then we like to talk about what the characters are doing and, <laughs> oh, and why. Hey, yes, yo, we do. I'm yes, done. we do. I'm done. And why I'm we get into done. their psychological no, motivations. I'm yeah. super done now. What do I never leave the house without? Something to smoke, usually a lighter, although you lose those and steal everyone else's. Way too much cash, totally unnecessary. Backpack, you have to take that with you everywhere you go or hide it, even when it's in our own home when no, when no one could ever get in. Yeah. Now you're nailing it. This is all, this is, this is hilarious because I just know where you're gonna go with this. What does my perfect day off look like? I mean, there is no day off is the point. She thinks that I work all the time. When's the last time you had a day off? When we went to Bora Bora in January. Almost a year ago. Mm. If I did have a day off, what would it look like? What did we do in Bora Bora that day? How long did we walk on that gravel road? An eternity because we ate mushrooms. Those mushrooms were very strong. Mm -hmm. and so your day off would be us wandering around on mushrooms? Yes, and, when, and then what did we see at night as soon as the system of a down UFO. song? For real. I know, I was there. How many albums do I have? Five. Working on the sixth, about to be released. What's the name of the sixth album? Born with Horns. Is it good? It's very good. <laughs> if I was an animal, what animal would I be? Hold on! No, 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 and then if you also Google any meerkat photo and you split screen those. Oh, I hate you. You cannot tell the difference. Do that right now. No okay. one's ever looked more like an animal. What animal do I re does my personality remind you of? Sometimes like a bunny rabbit because you're sensitive and like also frightened and like fragile. And then other times like. Dragon. You say dragon, but it's mythological, but I feel like that's not who comes out in the streets. That's not a dragon. Cause dragons yeah. are very like regal and would be in control of their like, their wise. What's that person that comes out? Something like the Hulk, yeah. Yeah, the Hulk, yeah. Mm. What's my sun sign? Your sun is Taurus, your moon is Pisces, your rising is Gemini. You have a stellium of planets in Pisces. Your sun is in the 12th house, which is the house that's ruled by Neptune, which is the ruler of Pisces. You're very Piscean and you're very Gemini. Very morose and the moods are very intense, but I know the whole chart. Okay, well obviously you win this game, but we're gonna finish this out just for the people. What's my favorite place to visit? Travis's studio. <laughs> You've never been on a vacation. Your first vacation was with me. What's my favorite show I've ever played? No, I don't know. I bet Red Rocks is one of them. For sure. One of your favorite venues. For sure. But I don't know like specific shows. There's been thousands. Yeah, I mean, obviously Cleveland hometown stuff is a, a go-to for me. But yeah, I mean, the Red Rocks, like the last time I did Red Rocks, it was Juice World opening and us closing. And I felt when I went on stage, I could feel my aunt's energy come down. And she was with me on that. She always dreamed that she could see me play there, but she passed before she could, so that was cool, like, feeling her there that night. 
And that's our last question. Did I f any up? I feel like I got them all. I wouldn't give yourself I feel like that. I got 99%. Get, yeah, you got, you got 99. Is it a tie? Yeah, I feel like I got 99 as well. well. How many points did I get? Baby, you get these many points. I gave you so many bonus points. I gave you a lot of bonus points as well. Did you? Yeah, I did. I appreciate you. Thank yeah, you. you were killing it. Well, that was it, everyone. Clearly, he's completely exhausted from the experience. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Me too. Do you want to tell the people what the doctor said? Look, the doctor said every day Megan has to. No, 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 no